him here in Cleveland, Ohio. The folks here in Cleveland, even though all the down years have never stopped supporting their hometown guys, and we got evidence of that a moment ago as the Browns made their entrance. They are ready to do battle with the San Francisco 49ers. Here's the Australian-born punter Mitch Wisnowski to get things going. And off we go from Cleveland. First carry now for Nick Chubb. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, give him 14. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Mayfield off the play fake. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked by Tarverius Moore. So CD, his very first pass of the afternoon intercepted. And I know that's a major surprise for any quarterback because, look, let's face it, no one thinks about throwing interceptions. But think about all the warm-up that we saw, right? Every pass he threw wasn't a single interception because, oh, that's right, there were no defenders out there. A little bit different when there's live guys out there chasing the football. Three yards the game there, second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Not going to run the jet sweep on third down. And he will have the first down, but he winds up paying for it pretty good. Nine yards that time. Well, I sure wouldn't be surprised if we see more of this as this game goes on because we know they like to use their wideouts either on quick throws or on jet sweeps like what we just saw there. And to say that that one worked well, partner, that's stating the obvious. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Lance a handoff here to Mostert. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these aren't bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Raheem Mostert, 30 yards. And the Niners have taken the early lead. Well, they've done a pretty good job keeping him in check to that point, but he finally breaks off a nice run here and gets into the end zone. And it just takes one, doesn't it, partner? 
that can undo a lot of good work that a defense has done to that point. You break off one right there, and everything suddenly looks bad for you. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Cleveland offense ready to go. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. They'll let it go deep for Beckham. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down a score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 48. Now Lance. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. Oh, I see you nodding your head along with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. Throwing again on second down. Lance flushed out right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Excellent work there by Lance as he scrambles for the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. On first and 10, it's Moster. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Off of play action. Here's Lance. Connects with Sanu right side. And across the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Mohamed Sanu, 30 yards. And the 49ers add six to their lead. Gold to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14 0. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Here comes Johnson on the return. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Browns drive about to get started. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice. And the defense loses him. It's complete. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Schwartz, 72 yards. 
points. And the Browns are able to strike quickly for six. Well, there is no doubt that this offense was in desperate need of a quick answer, and they got it. One play, and they're right back in this game. Because you got the sense if they stalled out here and then another score on the other side to make it a three-score game, could have gotten ugly. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good, and that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Lance looking to throw it. Now Lance unable to escape, and down he goes. Sacked there by Jadevian Clowney. Well, it was second long, now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. Third and long, they'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds, just shy of the 30. Able to find a seam for 14 yards, but still now facing a fourth down after the scramble. I thought he did a pretty good job there to get back what he could, but let's face it, that sack on second down, talk about throwing a wrench into the works. It certainly did. Yeah, he did everything he could there, trying to pick up some positive yardage, and he did, but not enough. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. And they won't get a chance to bring this one back. It goes out of bounds, back near their own 20. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was fairly easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. Yeah, we'll see if it's that easy here. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Mayfield hands it off to Chubb. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. to seven. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Handoff comes to Chubb. Powers through him. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A give. This is Chubb. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. A run for Nick Chubb. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Chubb. 
That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. On the carry, it's Chubb. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. They'll try to throw here. Mayfield. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. To throw Mayfield. That's going to be caught. Touchdown, Browns. Rashard Higgins in the final seconds of the first half. And the Browns have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And we are tied here in the second quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. Lance now on first down. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They hand it off to Mostert. Sheds off the tackle. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They had that 14-0 lead, but that has evaporated as they go to work here first and 10. Third quarter starts with a run from Mostert, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Once again, it's Mostert, and he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. On third down, here comes Mostert. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. That time on the outside, pretty nice job as a cornerback to shed any would-be blockers and make the tackle. Think about the praise we're giving him, what his coaches are giving him, but how about the respect he gets from his teammates to be a complete corner who doesn't just cover receivers, but also tackles ball carriers. They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is fourth down. And they'll go for it. Lance. And able to haul it in is Kittle. The 30, 20, 10. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. 
Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. Mostert. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, but it sets up second and goal. Again, it's Mostert. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Raheem Mostert able to take it in from a yard out. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. Gold with the extra point, and the lead is now 21-14. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. drive about to get started they'll look for a drive to tie this up down 21 14 as they have it first and 10 Mayfield to throw it he finds his target Beckham he'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31 simple drag route here lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field you probably saw me twitch there partner because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner by the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They'll go left side on the ground with Chubb. Looking for a seam but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage and that's it. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what'll be a third and four. No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Play fake. Mayfield. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Credit the sack to Fred Warner. Well, they sent him on the blitz from that linebacker spot, and boy, he got there quickly. He certainly did, and obviously he could have used a block from his running back, but I think you nailed it right there. The defender got into the backfield so fast, it's hard for anyone to react. And Mayfield again with the interception, his third. Picked by Tarverius Moore. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. Yes, folks, that is his third interception, and I'm going to use one of the most overused phrases in football. He's a ball-hawking safety. I love the way that you called for the shot there. That's perfect, though, because there is something to that. Being a safety often allows you freedom to roam around a defense, maybe not a specific assignment. Today, his assignment, find the football, and he's done so quite well. From the gun, a run with Mostert. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. And 
that's going to do it. Clock hits zeros. They're not going to get another playoff. Time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Working with a second and three. won't be enough to pick up the first a gain of two third and one got to figure now after getting that turnover they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground right this is where covering the football taking care of the ball all the ball security terms that have ever been used they come into play for the guys oh no he lost the football and this is picked up by the browns well that takeaway partner right there that's a combination of coaching execution and absolute belief because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go ah this thing's pretty well done but they still thought to themselves if we could make a play we give our team a, we give our teammates a chance to win it and that's exactly what they did and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today picked off by the former first rounder jimmy ward then a green return here gets this one all the way down to the 26 yard line so they try to take the deep shot there, but this defense up to the task. And a lot of times when you air a ball out like this, if it does get intercepted, there's going to be a lot of space out there to set up a return. And remember, you've got five big offensive linemen out there playing on their feet in open space. Not a skill most of them possess that allows for extra yardage on the return. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Lance now to throw. And that is incomplete. George Kittle, the receiver that he was looking for. And it's third down. But that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. The Niners on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Faking the give to Mostert. Now Lance. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Brandon Ayuk, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Niners take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And the lead now up to 14. And they got it. They recovered it. But hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. So they hit the ball before it went 10 yards. I know that's tough, but you got to stay disciplined. It is difficult because you're so eager to go get the football. It's that type of a play, but you're exactly right. Have to have the discipline to let it go 10 first. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. He's got a man wide open. It's Landry. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A very solid gain of 27. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he'll get four there, down to about the 12-yard line. Second down, here's Chubb again. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run with Chubb. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Chubb will get the call running left. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. Well, sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. Man, not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Jason Barrett. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? 
is beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber? I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. And now off to the races. Down the right side. Touchdown, 49ers. Raheem Mostert. Nice.